I'm going to introduce Altair Software Asset Optimization Solution with a short 15 minute video. A full presentation typically takes anything from one to two hours, including a demo. I will explain in this introduction what SAO is and what it can do, and a brief roadmap for 2020, and conclude with some remarks, a crystal ball, if you will. We can make available a number of companion videos and that cover various topics in more detail. So before I begin, I would like to give you a historical background about how this solution came into being. Altair has a fantastic custom software development team that specializes in engineering software custom solutions that include CAE, CAD, PLM, and other related enterprise solutions. Altair had developed a few custom solutions for license usage reporting before 2011. As you very well know, custom solutions are expensive to develop and to maintain. This experience, however, allowed us to plan a commercial product that could address every requirement we had been asked to support and functionality that we thought expedient to add. One major aspect was to provide an out-of-the-box product that worked well for all customers, large and small, without calling for any customization. The solution needed to be configurable to tailor to individual customer requirements, effectively reducing the total cost of ownership. SAO was first released in 2013 and now has evolved into a compelling solution. It has been adopted by over 110 global customers and continues to expand its capabilities. Let us begin. Altair SAO is a license analytics solution for centralized enterprise licensing, focusing on usage analytics and right-sizing software inventory. It will be extended to track node lock licenses by the end of 2020. The contents are broken down into 13 parts as shown. These sections indicate how SAO has evolved into a comprehensive solution in seven years after its initial release in 2013. SAO is built to collect, visualize, analyze, and optimize utilization of enterprise software licenses. SAO has been adopted by over 110 companies globally. Some installations track over 250 vendor demons and 40,000 users. SAO is supported by a very responsive global team. System Description SAO is built using a standard three-tier architecture. Data collection, parsing, and database updates run 24-7. Apache Tomcat hosts various SAO portals. Data collection agents can be installed on licensed servers or remotely. SAO supports 33 different license management systems today. New license manager support is added by customer requests. IT compliance and GDPR. SAO is built using a modular J2EE stack. It employs cybersecure design. It provides the ability to reparse old data from stored data files. SAO supports Global Data Protection Regulation or GDPR. GDPR support is a requirement in the European Union. Access to user and host data is controlled using roles. Full data access is provided only to users with admin and GDPR admin roles. Usability. SAO employs an aggregate and drill down philosophy. SAO is designed for extreme ease of use using design considerations outlined in this slide. 
The main web portal needs a user login. Users can save often used reports in the My Report section on the top left. Reports are categorized under Alerts, Usage, and Advanced sections. Users with the admin role have access to the admin tools. The bottom left section hosts a context-sensitive filter list. All reports are displayed in the main panel. Every report is hosted in its own tab. The Favorites dashboard contains a list of user-specific features of interest, providing easy access to six common reports. Most reports provide context-sensitive drill-down and drill-through navigation options. The real-time portal is provided for any user who needs to view current checkouts, software users, denials, and vendor status. The SAO Monitoring Console provides an aggregated view of some key metrics. This portal is updated continuously. SAO allows for setting up scheduled automated Excel reports. Excel reports provide a variety of hyperlinks for easy navigation within the Excel spreadsheet. Basic reporting. Just about any system dealing with license tracking provides a set of basic reports such as usage over time, aggregations over vendor, feature, user, summary usage reports, and real-time license usage reports. Basic reports use the fundamental data record showing who checked out what software from which host at what time and for how long. License usage reports over time are aggregated by year, month, week, day, hour, and five minutes. This is a license usage report rendered as a heat map and allows quick inspection of usage for different metrics. Advanced Analytics Advanced Analytics uses data from license files and denials logs. As this data is saved in data files for each snapshot, it is possible to reparse old data to apply new business rules and fix bugs. Advanced Analytics employs some unique aggregation techniques, analyzes token-based systems, packages or bundles usage, provides asset expiration from license files, shift-based reporting, and can produce consolidated vendor reports. The usage efficiency report shows usage and wall time for each license count and sustained peak percentage. Package analysis includes a ranking chart for all software included in a package or a bundle. It is possible to configure a shift-based peak usage report that can help balance user distribution across work shifts. Usage breakdown by organization. The system needs to know the organizational structure for departments and regions with user assignments, allowing SAO to provide usage rollup and breakdown, cost analytics, and setting up of soft limits. Department and regional hierarchies, as shown, need to be uploaded into the SAO database. Users assigned to regions and departments with effective dates allows for correct allocation of usage to regions and departments. Usage allocation to department and regions allows SAO to support spin-offs and mergers, chargebacks, and soft limit setup. A few examples of reports by department and region are given below. This report shows usage breakdown for a software feature by department in a hierarchical format. Cost analytics and soft limits. Users need to fill in the cost analytics setup form. Costing can calculate cost sharing for a given vendor or a feature by region or by department. Users have the option of choosing one or multiple usage metrics for calculating shares. The cost analytics module creates an Excel file with cost sharing information as shown here. 
These files can be modified further for incorporation into corporate costing systems. Admins can set up soft limits indicating maximum allotted peaks for any or all departments and regions. Violations are recorded and notifications are sent to admins. Denials management. Tracking denials correctly is very important for interactive software. The challenge is to account for only those denials that are related to license availability. Tracking these denials accurately is a requirement for correct functioning of the predictive analytics module. Altair SAO employs sophisticated denial chains to filter out denials resulting from feature and vendor hopping. Behavior of software packages of increasing functionality and cost cannot be analyzed without analyzing denials chains. Predictive Analytics Released in December 2018, Predictive Analytics is a unique solution offered by Altair SAO. Predictive Analytics is used to evaluate the effect of varying license counts, added or reduced users, and maximum allowed checkout period on different performance metrics. Performance metrics refer to aggregate metrics such as denials or denials probability for a particular licensing scenario. Predictive Analytics uses a virtual license manager simulator to calculate various performance metrics for a given license count. Predictive Analytics use case examples. A performance metric target can provide guidance regarding the most appropriate license count. Such analysis can be used to tune an existing licensing scenario. Predictive analytics can be used to evaluate the effect of adding or reducing user counts on various performance metrics. This can be used for planning license inventory for the following year. It is also possible to evaluate the performance of different user groups to determine optimal license count reservations. Total deployment time. A typical server installation and configuration can be completed in 15 to 20 minutes. An agent can be installed and configured in about 10 minutes. Time taken to define departmental and regional hierarchies is driven by the IT group. However, this functionality is not necessary for basic operation of the system and can be added any time after the basic system goes online. HTTPS transport, SAO messaging system, and predictive analytics can be installed and configured in less than an hour and can be rolled out incrementally. Customer goals drive the total deployment time. The simplest implementation can be rolled out in an hour or so. A little incremental work can unlock the full potential of SAO. Roadmap SAO will add reserved license analytics, custom dashboards, and other evolutionary functionality to the system. A reservation efficiency chart will be provided by software feature for each group. The next major development includes the desktop software usage analytics solution that will allow for tracking node locked software, identifying if a software is node locked or uses a centralized license server, and evaluating if a Windows based interactive application could have exceeded a threshold idle time. DSUA is designed to scale to track software usage on tens of thousands of desktops. DSUA is designed to use industry-recognized massively scalable systems such as Apache Kafka and Apache Spark. The DSUA solution will include an agent installed on every desktop. This will allow for tracking of software when desktops are off the network. Remarks. Many customers utilize a variety of solutions to get a handle on their software license usage. 
Altair's vision is to create a platform for software license analytics with extensive support for various license management systems, predictive analytics, prescriptive analytics, tracking node lock license software, and collecting installed software inventory. Software suppliers tend to get very creative with licensing models, adding complexity and sometimes confusion. A significant trend is to prefer notifications-based monitoring and tracking software license usage. Hosted licensing is getting more prevalent. I hope this presentation conveyed what Altair SAO is all about. If you are intrigued, would like to explore possibilities further, discuss any specific issues you might have, or would like to set up proof of concept, we would love to hear from you. You can request to view the Altair SAO video blog in 13 parts that corresponds to each section in this presentation. This concludes the SAO introduction video. You could contact our team in the Americas, EMEA, or APAC. The contact information is provided on this slide. Please write to sao underscore info at altair.com for additional information and collateral. Thank you for watching. We look forward to hearing from you.